I want to put that 40 Fargo on that laser frame. Right on. With the existing um, firewall and uh, dashboard. Okay. So I'll have to modify that dashboard that's in that cab. To accept all that electronics. Well, it'll all fit in there. Like all the electronics are staying. Mm -hmm. None of that's going to change. Just like we're doing. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm doing too. Yeah. And that RAM charger I've got is uh, multi port injected, air conditioning, cruise control. It's got all that crap on it. And that's all going to go into that part. Right on, right on. But, like you said, it's a lot of measuring, and cutting, and messing. Yeah. And, and with these guys, like we start talking about this and that. And I've already thought about this and I thought about that and then I start to panic because you're getting way ahead of yourself. You're not even to that point. Yeah. And I'm worried about, is this going to work? Oh shit, you know, I better research that. And I've almost researched it to death now. I think I'm going to pull that other uh, ice racing parts car I have that has the air conditioning heater in it. And I'm going to pull that unit out, including the control box, because I was looking at it. Six wires to hook up and bolt the box in, and then the air conditioning has to hook up to it. That's the only difference between the two, and it's a lot smaller unit, yep. so I think that's what I'm going to do with that. That's the color that's going to stay right there. Flat. Oh, yeah. And, uh, that body stuff in the back of all the vents, that's staying there. That's there. That's the color that's going to be flat, blue, flat, black. So do you ever find any other old farmers like this? Yeah, I got a a couple more. Yeah. I know my old man was kind of hanging around. I don't know if he'll ever do anything or not, but he doesn't move over here, Grant.